<sighs> okay, so let's just take a moment here to take a few deep breaths and <sighs> breathe in through your nose, let it out through your mouth with a big sigh. <sighs> And next, breathe in, exhale, and bring the energy into your body because we've spent the past hour and a half pretty much in our heads, right? <sighs> and feel where your feet are connected to the floor and your body on the chair. And just breathe softly. And notice the energy in the room, how it's transformed around you in the past hour and a half. And know that the energy of the cryon entourage was here before we came today, preparing the room, bringing in the love and the healing the information and the guidance for you. And take another breath. And know that no one is here by chance. And allow yourself to feel the opening of being here, of receiving the love, of receiving the messages from Kryon, of feeling spirit around you, the support of the entourage that always has got your back, and the messages from Kryon. Greetings, dear ones. I'm Kryon of Magnetic Service. There is a sophistication and a wisdom in the room caused by those in the chairs. I don't speak to strangers. But there may be some who wonder about the relationship or even the reality of what is taking place. The process you see here is one that my partner was not comfortable with 23 years ago. There is an opening that occurs at the soul level, at a quantum level in the pineal of the brain. And this particular opening, and you may call it a portal, although that is not accurate, is a bridge that is built between the corporeal and innate human being with the higher self. And the higher self is the bridge on the other side of the veil. Well, the higher self exists in both places all of the time. It is the higher self that the human being strives to work with all the time. It is what you want to be able to sit in the chair no matter what has happened in your life and say it is well with my soul. To be able to have that comfort, the ability to see beyond what that three-dimensional mind of yours was built to see, that's channeling. And it has been with humanity since humanity was seated with the truth. It is at the core and the heart of the most profound artwork in the world. It is the artist who channels what he knows should be on the canvas. It is the sculptor who removes the stone to reveal what he knows is within it. It is the writer who puts onto the paper the story that has come from a place in his brain that he never even realized was there. And it is the place where the channeler 
can take that information and energy from the other side of the veil and learn to give it to you in a linear fashion. And that was what my partner has learned to do. And so here we sit. The audience before me is all known to me. And this may be difficult. You may not know really what that means. I'm going to do something later today that I have not done for a long time. I'm going to tell a story. I will give you another parable. But I want you to understand this relationship. For each of you has inside you something undiscovered. And you know it's there because you sit in the chairs looking for it. Intuitively, you feel it. But you really don't know the enormity of it. You don't know that you're eternal. You suspect you are. But there's no window of knowledge that flies open that validates it to your heart. Not really. And so at the edge of death, there's always a little fear for a moment until you remember what it's about and the transition is filled with gratitude and joy and remembrance. But while you're here, dear human being, in an energy that you have created on the planet, you sit teetering between faith, knowledge, tradition, what you've been told, and what your intuition is telling you. This is the work of a light worker. To generate belief that is not substantiated with the three-dimensional attributes that others around you would like. And they see what you do and they roll their eyes. They see what you do and they think that perhaps you're just a little unbalanced. They see what you do and think you're in a cult and somebody is leading you down some path because why else would you think that way? Without realizing that they are in some kind of a box of their own, they accuse you of being in a box that's even smaller. And so this is the fight that you have fought for eons. And this is the fight that is changing. The release is before you of old energy attributes of how things work. And the old soul is the first to recalibrate. For the old soul has got to be the anchor for the future. For when normal starts to recalibrate for those who are not old souls, it's the old soul that's got to stand like the lighthouse and be the comfort for the others who have no idea what's happening. It's a time where the earth truly will start slowly to feel changes in actual human nature. And systems that were built to operate with an old human nature will be in trouble. Any system that is built to operate on human nature that wants greed, human nature that allows just a little bit of non-integrity and dishonesty and has always been at the edges, catching that which was flung off, that's all going away. There'll be a transparency that has never been available before where one human will look at another and know exactly who they are. Almost like you were all intuitives and could read the energy of everything that's going on with somebody else's life. Not the details, but the color of unbalance or the color of joy or the color of an old soul. Difficult for me to explain. It is a change of human nature that's coming. And the group before me 
Some of you are wounded with this reality, and I know who's here. I know who sits in the chair. Some of you are smarting with, with sorrow. Some of you are uncomfortable with what you see before you. Some of you are worried about what's happening in your own life. And I'm here to tell you it is time for you to learn how to open that door to find that piece of you which is the connection that you're looking at right now as my partner speaks not with his voice but with something on the other side of the veil not a person not an entity but the creative source itself this has always been the way of it. Channeling is not new, dear ones. We've said it before. All of the scriptures of the planet, not written by God, but by humans, under the influence of channeling. And so here it is again. Groups all over the world starting to realize the shift is upon them. And this is why you're here, to work this puzzle, not to get out of trouble, but to lay the foundation of maturity and anchor yourself where others can look at you with what you've been through and know they can do it too. And it's only the old souls of this planet that can pull this off. And we've said it before. And here you are. And perhaps that's the one reason why you came today. To hear these things spoken in this way. And if so, it was worth it. To know that when you leave here, you're not alone. That what you're feeling, others are feeling. And that this brings together a family in a quantum way that even if you're in a closet by yourself, there are tens of thousands who are with you. And this is the energy that you were born for. And some of you will say, oh, I'm too old to do anything. And that is incorrect. For it is the senior who needs to be the senior. Or the young person who says, I'm too young, I am only at the beginning, what can I accomplish? And I will tell you, people will see in you answers. Personal, not your age. Elder or young person, God is God. And there is no age. And they're in you in a way that others around you, your age, need to see. And so it, it spans all ages. Old souls are everywhere. Continue. The fight has just begun for planting seeds. But the old energy resistance is starting to fade. A realignment of battle, you might say, where the armies back up and they reassess and some of them realize that they can do it now without any weapons. <laughs> it's a new paradigm of light and dark. And so it is.